the ranking minority member on the Committee of Foreign Relations for any opening statement he would like to make. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Let me begin by saying I think, Major, you provided, have provided and are providing a very, very, very valuable service to your country by coming forward as you have. Because, quite frankly, I think what you've done is you've forced us to come to our milk here, all of us in the United States Congress. I think you and I believe, and many of us believe here, as long as Saddam's at the helm, there is no reasonable prospect you or any other inspector is ever going to be able to guarantee that we have rooted out, root and branch, the entirety of Saddam's program relative to weapons of mass, de mass destruction. And you and I both know, and all of us here really know, and it's the thing we have to face, that the only way, the only way we're going to get rid of Saddam Hussein is we're going to end up having to start it alone, start it alone, and it's going to require guys like you in uniform to be back on foot in the desert taking the son of a, the uh, taking Saddam down you know it and I know it so I think we should not kid ourselves here there's stark stark choices I happen to agree with your assessment a that diplomacy was picked over inspection driven confrontation B that there's an illusion of arms control that cannot guarantee he will have no system of uh, no weapons of mass destruction and d and see that as long as he's there he's concluded he can absorb airstrikes so i think you've done a significant service for this country a different a different policy judgment has been made if we don't like the policy judgment in my view from observation has been made by the administration and the security council and our allies if we don't like it we should step up to the ball and say it because you forced us, and I think properly so, to a day of reckoning here about what our policy should be. I look forward to hearing what you have to say, and welcome, even without the Secretary of State and the Secretary of Defense. <laughs>